बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस इंटरनेट द इंटरनेट इज अ सिस्टम दैट इंटरकनेक्ट्स द डिफरेंट कंप्यूटर सिस्टम्स अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इट यूजेस द इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल स्विट टू लिंक डिवाइसेस लोकेटेड इन डिफरेंट कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड The internet system carries an extensive range of information resources and services including world wide web telephony electronic mail etc The internet is a globally connected network system that uses the internet protocol switch TCP IP to communicate between networks and devices It consists of a vast collection of private, public, business, academic and government networks. To enable communication between devices, the internet relies on protocol and standards that govern how small units of data are formatted, addressed and transmitted. The term internet and world wide web are often used interchangeably, but technically they are not the same thing. The internet is a global network of interconnected computers and networks. While the World Wide Web is a service that uses the internet's infrastructure to provide digital devices and applications with access to websites. The linking of commercial networks and enterprises by the early 90s as well as the advent of the World Wide Web marked the beginning of the transition to the modern internet. The internet carries a vast range of information resources and services such as interlinked hypertext documents and applications of the world wide web electronic mail telephony and file sharing Intranet An intranet is a private network within an organization that uses internet technologies to securely share information collaboration tools and other resources among its members unlike the internet which is a global network accessible to the public an intranet is limited to the internal users of an organization usually each company or organization has its own intranet network and members or employees of that company can access the computers in their intranet it is restricted to authorized users within the organization The intranet circulates data within the organization and provides limited information. It is primarily used for internal communication, collaboration and information sharing within an organization. Uniform resource locator A URL or uniform resource locator is a reference or address used to access resources on the internet. It is the web address that you enter into a web browser to visit a specific website or retrieve a specific resource. URLs are entered into web browsers to access and retrieve web page or websites from the internet. The URLs of some common websites are www.hotstar.com, www.netflix.com. Internet Service Provider The ISP stands for Internet Service Provider and ISP is a company that provides internet access to customers. ISPs enable users to connect to the internet browse websites, send and receive emails and access various online services. ISPs can offer different types of internet connections including broadband such as DSL, cable fiber optic, dial-up and satellite. Users typically subscribe to an ISP and pay a monthly fee for the service. ISPs may also offer additional services like web hosting, virtual private networks and email services. Web browsers 
A web browser is a program on your computer or mobile device that lets you explore the internet. It helps you view websites, click on links and interact with online content. The browser has tools like an address bar for entering website address, tabs for opening multiple web pages and features to keep your internet experience safe and convenient. Common examples of web browsers include Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Safari Opera, Brave, etc. Web page and websites A web page is a single document or a page of content on the internet. It is what you see when you visit a specific uniform resource locator URL on the web. Web pages are the building blocks of a website and can be linked together to create a navigable structure. The website is a collection of related web pages that are typically identified by a common domain name. It is a set of interconnected web pages we usually served from a single web domain. A website can contain various types of content, such as text, image, videos and interactive elements. Examples of websites include www.google.com and wikipedia.org. Web Portal A web portal is a website or online platform that serves as a gateway or entry point to a variety of information services and resources. It provides a centralized location for users to access different tools and content from various sources. Web portals are designed to offer a unified and organized experience, often with a user-friendly interface. Network Gateway In networking, a gateway is a device or software component that connects to different networks, facilitating communication between them. It acts as an entry and exit point for data entering or leaving a network. For example, a router in a home network can serve as a gateway, connecting the local network to the internet. Bandwidth Bandwidth represents the amount of data that can be transmitted over a network in a given amount of time. It is a crucial factor in determining how quickly data can be sent and received. It is a measure of the capacity or throughput of the communication link and is usually expressed in bits per second, kilobits per second, megabits per second or gigabits per second. Higher bandwidth generally leads to faster data transfer and better performance especially for activities such as streaming video, online gaming and large file downloads. A network with low bandwidth has limitations on data transfer speed potentially leading to slower communication and longer download times. Cloud Storage Cloud Storage is an online service that lets you store and access your files over the internet instead of saving data on your local device, it is stored on remote servers and managed by a third-party provider. This allows for easy access from various devices, data backup and collaboration features. Popular services include Google Drive, Dropbox and Microsoft OneDrive. Cloud Computing Cloud computing is a technology paradigm that involves accessing and utilizing computing resources including servers, storage, database, networking software and analytics over the Internet. It provides on-demand availability of resources, allowing users to scale up or down based on their needs. Cloud computing eliminates the need for owning and managing physical infrastructure, enabling flexible, cost-effective and remotely accessible computing services. Users typically pay for the resources they consume, 
making it a dynamic and scalable solution for various applications and industries.